In this video, I'm going to explain to you how the coordinate system works in Scratch. If you learned something from watching this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a like, and if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. As I move a sprite around the stage, you'll notice that these values, these two numbers down here, keep changing. When both of them are zero, you'll know that the sprite is in the middle of the stage. So why is this? Well, the reason is that behind the scenes, the scratch stage contains a coordinate plane. Think of the coordinate plane as graph paper, with 480 lines going across the x-axis and 360 lines going up and down the y-axis, giving us a rectangle with a length of 480 units by 360. In other words, along the x-axis, we go from negative 240 all the way up to positive 240 for a total of 480 units, or lines, or boxes, however you want to look at it. And for the y-axis, we go from negative 180 all the way up to positive 180 for 360 total units, or lines, or boxes. When we're this far zoomed out, you can't see all the lines, but as we zoom in, you'll see that there's more and more lines. So we could be very explicit in where we want our sprite to be at any point in time. If you go to the backdrops, you can choose the XY grid so that you can visualize it a little bit better. Every point on this grid can be represented by an ordered pair, with the first value representing X and the second value representing Y. So if we want our sprite to be in the top right quadrant, the X value should be positive and the Y value should also be positive. So let's say an X of 100 and a Y of 100. Now the convenient thing about Scratch is that as you move your sprite, the ordered pairs automatically change. So if you want your sprite to start in the bottom left of the stage, you can just drag your sprite exactly where you want it, and the ordered pair will automatically be placed inside of the inputs for the blocks. So right now my sprite is at negative 190 comma negative 131 and I can just drag that block into the programming area and I'm ready to go. You don't have to manually type in values unless you know exactly where you want your sprite. 